Sir, your cartwheels are amazing. You would have to have so. And then he punched me. Hold on. Well, I, I mean, as a kid, I didn't know that though. There is something yeah. I have yet to see the movie, but I am aware in the trailer. I actually do like how April O'Neil is written as the uh, same age oh. as the actual kids. Oh yeah, yeah the like, movie is great for that. Honestly, I still want to see that movie so bad. It's yeah, good. like the movie yeah, is the movie Joey is certainly worth watching. Do ago, it's get off good. me. I mean, I personally am just not that interested in it, but I do want to give the soundtrack a shot because Trent Reznor. Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. I love me some freaking Nine those Inch freaking Nails. boys. Yes. Yeah, no problem. No, he there doesn't. Is no, no, Black there is. Alcohol. Black as your Black soul. As your soul. I'd yeah, die. Uh, many people are saying no spoilers for the new movie. Yeah, so. none of no, that. No, we're not gonna spoil. We're not gonna spoil. Yeah, I only mentioned April O'Neil as because like that's already a part of the trailer and everything. I did hear some people complain saying that's yeah. not my April. What little two people realize is that in the original comic, the character was pretty uh, anonymous over its um over its uh, racial iteration. Yeah. In fact, it was based on the creator's no. girlfriend who is biracial. Yeah, exactly. I'm one of those. <laughs> You're one of those? I, I, I'm biracial because... Oh, oh okay. Y yeah, because my, da my dad's Indian, but my mother's Caucasian, so... Oh, okay. I thought you were saying you were a turtle, and I was really confused. <laughs> no! No, I thought that he was on the same boat with everybody else. It is, uh, He's a furry, uh, not a scaly. He would say, like, oh, this is not my April O'Neil. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. I, like, and, and I'm op like, I'm open to different versions of characters in sure. different like interpretations, sure. you know. So hey. exactly. Fuck you. Did like, I, it's I, like, did I just hear Lex on the background? Oh. oh no. Oh no. No, like dipshits who want to get mad. Like that's not what her skin tone should be. It's like you're gonna miss everything cool and die angry. You're what just. What is this level? It's kind of similar to it's how. It's a skateboard level. It's yeah. kind of similar to how people complained about, like, oh, why is Jimmy Olsen in the new in the Mind Adventures with Superman black? Who cares? The character. Yeah, like, why? Why does it matter to you so much? Like, big dude, what do you fucking do? Yeah, no, the been... thing that matters to me, and this is with any character, is if they're written well. You know, if yeah, they make, if yeah, they make April O'Neil, if they make April O'Neil Hispanic or Indian, just write the character well. That's it. Yeah. It's slightly off topic, but I've been seeing clips of my adventure with Superman, and that show looks really good. It is good, but what I find so amusing is that people were praising it, but then a couple of days later, people are like, "Oh my god, the show is so infuriating!" Literally just because of terrible tropes that are being executed. Well, told them they uh. have small beanies. <laughs> I mean, they do have small beanies because yeah. they're literally like. They literally, I mean, one one way to know they they're exactly that you is know, when they constantly, cool. when they constantly you know, they abuse cool to roll with us. the stupid crying emoji because they do that every time. Oh, yeah. I've always noticed they do that. Know. Oh my I god, know. this is so terrible! Shit, crying emoji, I keep forgetting where emoji. I'm at. I know I'm like Leonardo, but it's like there's so many of us. It's like it's oh yeah, there's like so much <laughs> stuff going on on the screen, <laughs> like the classic arcade tropes. Good so much god. happening. Okay, I literally, hold on, I literally just came back to life, and I just got obliterated in the blink of an eye. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's just like, I came back to life. Hit, 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 hit. Dead. Hang on, guy. Oh, my God. I just realized, I just had the best, well, the worst thing to say to that, Golden. Oh, God. Well, oh, God, Splinter! Yeah. I got Splinter! Yeah! But anyway, I was about to say, that means you got Oppenheimered. Oh man! Oh! <laughs> there's something real. Wait, 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 everybody was, get back! I heard something kind of funny slash interesting about that actually. And what's Apparently, that? so it's nothing like like crazy. I just don't like Logan Paul. But apparently, he walked out during mid showing of Open Heart because he lasers. couldn't understand what was going on. I mean, an it's a, okay. He's an idiot. I'm not. Yeah, obviously, he's a dumbass, but. For, like, it, in context of watching the movie, yeah, it's very dialogue-driven, but it's worth yeah, it's it. like, 
it, yeah. it, it's based it's based on things that have happened and people who have existed and things in history and it's like all they did was talk and it's like what were you oh, expecting no you fucking it's a historical movie. Movie. Did most of the time it's a historical movie also then again Everybody this, is the same, this is the same dumbass who literally said that nope you know, Jordan Peele's movie about the about the about the space about aliens was apparently bad to him because he didn't get it. It's n it's Logan Paul. He's a dumbass. Yeah, this I is mean, like honestly, that's nothing new to me. I mean, this apparently was the guy. he is a there is what? like apparently he isn't like a major hot water that was someone else. It was uh, really again, funny actually. What the fuck else is? <laughs> well, I mean, like, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, Duff. I was gonna say, I mean, to be fair, that's Wait. pretty much everybody at this point. Well, it was funny because, I'm like, apparently, like, as much as I want. Uh, uh, he was like betting. There was this um, this guy he bet a million dollars to in a boxing match. He was like, "Hey, I'm gonna bet you in a match, and if you win, you get a million dollars. If I win, I get a million dollars." And he comments under that message. He's saying, "This man could do a million Ouch. dollar match, but he won't pay back his crypto scams." Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. I was like, that's so funny. Ooh. I mean, Burn. facts, facts, facts. Yep. Oh, great. Oh. I mean, the oh. only person I can, the only person I probably would say seems Glad to be to more safe, like mm, as hated as Logan Paul is. Crimson XQC. Ray, thank you for the donation. This is Yay! Is XQC. <laughs> I, I like XQC. 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 I don't like religiously watch him, yeah. but like. The time they watch just, him, they're funny. He, he just screams the same thing back from the video. He doesn't talk. Apparently, barely... apparently, people have a big problem with him doing reaction videos, which is funny because the per like reacting to videos on stream, which is kind of funny because the people who are calling him out d for doing that, no, are the, the same people that do the exact same thing. No, the thing that's... No, it wasn't just him. It was a lot of people, because all he does, he'll literally just leave a video playing, and he goes to use the bathroom. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. That's pr that and is he'll, 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 he uses to babysit his... His, his audience. And, yeah, and shit. And it's just like, no, it's not for you to do. These are... And he literally makes the same thumbnails of the videos and steals views away from these videos. I think... I do hold, remember on, hold on, who's that, doing this? Um, uh, XQC. XQC. He's like the biggest YouTube, like, not YouTube streamer, the biggest Twitch, Twitch. streamer at the moment. Uh-huh. And he's been getting some controversy. I thought people were just complaining about him for the sake of complaining, but according to Riley, in actuality, what he does is that he'll play the entire video of what he's supposed to be watching, and then just walk off to let the video play for his audience to watch it. Yeah, he'll do that notoriously, or he'll just, like, that's, watch a video, that, not say anything, that's, barely that, say anything. I, I'm sorry, but no. That's not how you do a react. You give yeah. your opinion. Yeah. To, okay. Some, pe uh, Some people have been joining and calling him out on that. I mean, oh, yeah, God. of course. Um, oh, shit. Um, All right. Something... I so oh, I'm man, say... like, I know that's there's so much going on screen, but no. Um, like, if you're gonna do a react of some sort, at least oh my like, God. react to it. You know, that's that's the one major thing. And most of the time, yeah. when I've seen like other react videos, they just go, huh, eh, eh. Like, God, he, and he was. Did you see that debate he had with Ethan Klein, where he actually made Ethan Klein look good of all people recently? Yeah, yeah, oh, that no. was like, a oh, cynical no. way of addressing it, and. It's kind of sad to imagine that you have the most hated YouTuber who became a podcaster and XQC literally making him look good. Oh, uh, great. Right. So, Somebody got frozen. Oh, I was frozen today! Oh, God. Yeah? Why um, is this a thing? I'm, I'm not... I, 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 Ow! So, like, I will say, I watched his streams recently about, like, his... Re he does, like, the reaction that... And a lot of videos he reacts is, like, the Mr. Beast content because, like, he loves that guy. Uh, and um he like he's i will say he does like no religious not really oh, religiously geez. but he like does like make comments or like talks about like what he's watching the reason he the whole bathroom bit thing was i think what ended up happening was he was trying to prove a point because there was there was that small brief period where people were getting shit on for just doing reaction contents in general and he was I like all need right to, well you guys get it yeah, he was like, alright, well, I'm gonna do this. He plays no. the video. 
walked off. He said, see, and he walks off for like five, ten minutes, comes back. He's like, see, I could be doing shit like that, but I'm not. He, but the comments he does, what I've seen is just like, he'll Ow. just repeat the same word that's said in the video back. Just be like, oh, wow, guys, and that kind of thing. And he'll just, it, it's literally just Ouch. watching it and just trying to do the bare fucking minimum of commentary. Don't touch the grid. I, I'm trying I not to, I keep getting stuck to it. I mean, I think even Ethan flat out pointed out to him, like, like you can do reaction videos, but if you're going to react, you have to add some kind of informant content so that it could become exactly. fair Exactly! No, okay. Yeah. Part of me for, okay, if I were to, part of me for plugging myself into this, but you know that I've been doing uh, that whole den stream? Like, when I'm showing the AI presidents and everything, like, I even have a link in the description, check this channel out and everything, but also we pause and we, like, laugh our asses off when we, like, just add some witty commentary about the presidents. That's just one example, mm -hmm. another which we just, we talk about, you know, with Judge Judy, like, we talk about, like, the bullshit that goes on in the court's case, and, you know, just, just add some actual commentary, you know? Yeah, yeah, like, I have no problem with React channels. I've watched a shitload of React channels, to be honest, but yeah. they always, like pause the video or they'll make sure that they'll actually add some form of commentary or pause or like do anything other than just go like oh wow guys see that yeah yeah and just point to the thing and it's just like no they it's actually the same, just yeah it becomes the same song and dance to the point where it doesn't ha carry any value it doesn't carry any weight i'm getting kicked in the face by no <laughs> <laughs> like I guess like the I guess the reason I feel like the XQC thing was a little like what felt like that was because I've kind of noticed that like certain YouTubers will literally have this reoccurring dance where they'll complain about React channels or just React streamers. One minute they'll be complaining about them, one minute they don't give a shit, and then just move on to uh, I don't know, Logan Paul, and then afterwards well, they'll complain about it. Lately, it's been an issue because like people like uh, XQC and Sniper Wolf have been kind of abusing. Because I have no says, put more quarters in, you stupid child. I have no problem with like reaction Sir, I channels. I appreciated it's your just, like, oh, It's just oh, using God. reaction as like content farm and just baby, basically just doing nothing but the bare minimum of just saying one word back oh, in the geez. video. Or at best, at least have a reaction. Like I think uh, the like one good example I think that comes to mind is when Pyrocynical reacted to um. The videos of the analog horror channel Vitas Carne, which is Living Meat. Not gonna go into detail, it's just a very disturbing analog horror series, and he adds commentary to it. He reacts to it, he adds his own two cents, he'll go back and watch certain elements. I think a while back, too, he also Whoa. reacted oh, recently to the um, the new Mandela catalog God video. Damn it. Which I'd imagine XQC would try to be like, Oh, oh guys, look at that! Oh good, you guys look at that! God. So like I, oh, they can turn this back into baby turtles. That's fun. I feel yeah. like yeah, the that way happens. Ow! Oh my god, <laughs> Shredder is a bitch to fight. You know what this reminds yeah. me of? Part of me for changing the subject. How many of you have seen Batman versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> that was a thing. Yeah, so. I saw yep. a clip where Bruce Wayne is literally taken on the shredder, and he got his ass kicked. But there's like, actual, yeah, yeah, and it's just, just like there's like actual like choreography going on. Like he's getting like his body's being tossed around. Meanwhile, Batman is also taking it back to the shredder, knocking his face oh. into a rail. Why you Why you hitting yourself? Yeah, the TMNT versus uh, TMNT or Batman and versus TMNT, like fun crossover. Um, it's it's very silly. Like it, it, oh, it yeah. doesn't expect you to take it all. Like one of my favorite moments, and I do apologize if there's spoilers. I love how Leonardo takes on Ra's al Ghul when he's like knocked down. So how did you think I went? Pow! Kicks him in the fucking ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> I, love I mean, that. I mean to be fair, I, I think a lot of people would probably do that to Ra's al Ghul. <laughs> yeah. Considering that that dude's entire shtick is detective, I am better than you because I've constantly kept myself alive after many hundreds of years. No, he's his whole shtick is dipping he's, yourself uh, in a pool of goo. Yeah. And he wants he's like an ultra like <sighs> what's but what about what's Shredder and Krang? Go terrorist, I think the word would be. I think he, so. 
and he runs a li- the literal League of Assassins. Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, that's the end of the game? That's the end of the game. That's the end of the game. I love how Dev said... Remember, these are arcade games. They're not yeah. very long. Well, hold on, hold on. I thought there would have been, like, a much sweeter ending or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, these were... This is, this is exactly how arcade that... games ended. Yep. Okay, then. Oh, wow. It's like, a... yep, you did it. Thanks for putting five dollars worth of quarters in this thing. <laughs> I, mean, no, I mean, to be fair, it is an arcade you game. Were good. So. <laughs> also, Riley, before my Discord decided to knock me out, reminder that one of the people from the League of Assassins also became Batgirl. Oh, at some point, yeah, it was. Yeah, also- um, it was um the second Batgirl, Cassandra Kane. She was trained by. Actually, she was the daughter of the leader of the League of Assassins. Talia al Ghul, yeah. Yeah, Talia al Ghul. <laughs> you know what kind of, like, made me frustrated throughout the TMNT crossover, though, was that, what? like, they kept mispronouncing Raish's name as Raz, and it's Raish. It's uh, always uh, been Raish, and I will fight to the death anybody who calls it Raz al Ghul oh, and not oh, Raish al Ghul. Yeah. Also, Riley, I, you kind of made a mistake, by the way. What? Um, Cassandra Cain wasn't born from, wasn't, isn't, wasn't oh. born from, um... Oh, you were talking about Cassandra Cain. Cassandra Cain, oh, she was right. born by Lady Shiva, who was the leader of the League of Assassins. Well, one of the people who was part of the League of No, Assassins. I was thinking of Damian Wayne. Yeah, you're thinking of Damian Wayne, which is Bruce Wayne's son. Yeah. But, like, yeah, the, what were we talking about before? Um. Turtles. Turtles. Yeah, it's speaking of... No, yeah, yeah they keep pronouncing it as Raz instead of... Yeah, Ray. Raz, Raz Jalgul. Alright, anyway, so now that the game is do- uh, this game is done, Ryza, Riley, you want it, You guys are ready to join for tur- uh, Turtles in Time? Assemble! How do I get, uh, sure. how do I get, get out? Game up. Okay, it is uh, game. Yeah, 